Hey everybody, it's Craig with Smartphone Envy, and today we're going to take a look at HTC Evo 4G, about to debut on Sprint on June 4th. It's a dual band CDMA phone, EVDO Rev A 3G, and also has WiMAX 4G. Phone weighs in at 170 grams, so it's definitely one of the heavier smartphones out there today. However, build quality is outstanding, primarily high grade plastic, some metal, and again, a nice soft rubberized texture coating here on the back, so the phone feels Really good and solid in your hands. Taking a look size comparison wise next to the Droid Incredible, you can see the Evo is a little bit longer, obviously wider due to the size of the screen, and it's just a little bit thicker than the Droid Incredible. Taking a quick look around the phone on the bottom is the HDMI port along with the micro USB port and microphone. On the top of the phone is the three and a half millimeter headphone jack along with the power and lock key. And on the right hand side is the volume rocker up and down. On the back of the phone is an 8 megapixel camera with autofocus, dual LED flash, brightness control, face detection, and geotagging. Also shoots video at 720p HD. Just to the right of the video camera, excuse me, the 8 megapixel camera is the speaker. Underneath the battery cover is a 1500 milliamp battery as well as a micro SD card slot. The battery needs to be removed to replace micro SD cards. And at the bottom of the phone, you've got your kickstand for watching videos or movies. All right, on the front of the phone, in the upper right hand corner, is a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera for video chat. Below that is the beautiful 4.3 inch TFT capacitive touch display showing 480 by 800 pixels. Offers multi touch proximity sensor as well as an accelerometer sensor. Just below the screen, you have four touch sensitive keys typical Android search key, back key, main menu key, and home key. The phone comes with one gigabyte of internal storage, 512 megabytes of RAM, memory can be expanded, an additional 32 gigabytes with micro SD cards. Phone has GPS, Wi Fi, BNG, Bluetooth version 2.1 with A2DP. Phone can be used for data tethering with up to eight devices simultaneously. Runs on Qualcomm Snapdragon 1 GHz processor. Operates on Android 2.1 Eclair OS. And also has HTC Sense UI overlay. All right, let's take a little closer look at the user interface on the Evo 4G. Again, it operates on Android 2.1 Eclair with HTC Sense UI overlay. And what that means is you're going to get seven different panels that you can customize either through HTC or Android widgets, application shortcuts, bookmarks, contact information, or folders. What do you say we remove a widget and add a new one? To remove a widget, simply hold it down. You'll feel haptic feedback. Drag it down towards a trash can. When the widget turns red, simply let go and the widget is removed. To add a widget, simply hold your finger down on the screen. A menu will pop up. We'll pick widget. I think we just removed calendar. So. HTC will give us three different looks. We've got the full month, got an agenda view, and we've got a day view. We'll go back and add the full month. We'll hit select down here at the bottom, and we've added a widget to the screen. So it's really that easy. When you're at the home screen, tapping on the home key will bring up an overview of all seven of the panels. Simply tapping on one of the panels will take you directly to it. To get back to the overview look, simply squeeze the panel together, and it will bring you back. This phone also multitasks. Holding down the home key will bring up the last six applications you were using. Simply tapping on one of them will take you directly to it. Again, tapping on the home key will bring you back. Hopefully you're noticing how quick this phone is. It's pretty much instant gratification when you tap on something. It, it pretty much moves. At the bottom of the screen, you've got your main menu key, your phone application, and the plus sign. Here, let me slide that up a little bit. Plus sign right here is to help you add a widget. Again, all you need to do is touch the screen to do that. Let's access the main menu, the main menu key in the lower left hand corner. Typical Android menu, nothing new there. However, you do get some additional applications because this is a Sprint phone. You've got Sprint NASCAR, you've got Sprint Football Live, Sprint Hotspot, Sprint Navigation, Sprint TV, and Sprint Zone. Uh, they've also added Quick as well as uh, one of the additional applications. Typical Android phone, you've got a notification bar up here at the top. It's going to show you I was navigating. Also shows you I've got uh, some emails and other notifications. I can hit clear to clear all those or tap directly on it to go to it. We'll tap on the navigation and then we can close this down. 
come back to our home screen and slide down to the notification bar bring up our notifications to close it simply slide it up to close all right, one of the things you're definitely going to want to do with a phone with a 4.3 inch capacitive touch display showing 480 by 800 pixels is watch videos and movies. So why don't we take a look at a YouTube video. Let me get this set up for you. Landscape. Let's zoom in a little bit. That's the first time I've seen that. I could watch that for a while. Anyway, I don't know if you can see the quality over the video camera, but it looks very much like you're watching television. It defaults to HQ uh, when you open up a video on YouTube. Uh, bottom line, it looks phenomenal. So watching videos or movies on this phone is a lot of fun. Let's take a look at the browser. Again, with a large screen, it's something you're going to want to spend some time with. And I've got uh, Smartphone Envy, Envy loaded up here. Let me zoom out just a little bit. And... Browser is a lot of fun. It's very smooth, very fluid. Again, one of the things I like about the newer browsers is all of the flashes showing up over here on the right, which I didn't used to get on a lot of the smartphones out there. So very happy with the browser. And again, it's multi-touch. Zoom in, zoom out, double tap to zoom in, double tap to zoom out. But the browser's very, very smooth. I'm sure you'll like it. Uh, another thing you're going to want to take a look at are maps. Let's go to uh, Navigator. Open up Map View. And again with Maps. Zoom in. Be a multi-touch. Redraws, as you can see, considering the amount of map I'm trying to redraw. It redraws pretty quick. And I found that it locates very well. And we've gotten uh, pretty fine. And then to zoom out. So navigation maps are also great. One of the things that's fun with this application as well. Navigate to Starbucks. And again, I've got the volume off so you can't hear it, but it does give you voice turn-by-turn -turn directions. And you can see just how quick that was. This is definitely one of the fastest phones I've ever used. All right, let's take a look at the camera as well. Actually, I wanted the camera, but that should be pretty easy to fix. And let's go to the gallery. Here's a video I took a couple days ago. Take a quick look at that. And again, everything is very smooth, very fluid. The one gigahertz processor really handles and does the job on this phone. Right, let's take a look at the gallery. Some photos while we're here. And it, I mean, to go between photos, it's silky smooth. There we go. And again, I hate to keep saying this, I, I doubt it's coming through on the video camera, but the quality of the photos is great. And you've got multi touch with the photos as well. And when you've got them enlarged, Kind of a neat effect. You slide it and it slides and then right before it settles it slows down and settles in. You can see I cut off the goose's head. I don't know how important that is to the video review but there you go. Anyway I, I hope uh, that that's been helpful. I really enjoy the phone a lot. I've had a lot of fun with it the last couple days. Just an amazing phone. Very quick up there with the speed of the incredible. So I hope this has been helpful. Take care.